back to Sugar and Spice with Lakshmi. Soft and feathery pav buns or dinner rolls are always a delight. So in today's video, let's check out the recipe for soft and pillowy pav buns or dinner rolls. Okay, to begin with, I have some warm milk to which I am adding my yeast and sugar and giving it a really good mix. We can set this aside to let it bloom while we prepare the dry ingredients. Now for the dry ingredients, I am adding some salt and milk powder into the flour and giving it a good mix. I like adding the milk powder because it adds an extra layer of flavor. Now in goes our milk and yeast mixture and we combine all of this together to get a really good dough. Once the dough has come together and we have a clean bowl, we can transfer the dough in onto the surface and start kneading it really well. Now you need to knead it well for at least 10 to 15 minutes. For kneading the dough, using the palm of your hands, press the dough against the surface and bring it back together using your fingers. Keep kneading like this for at least 15 minutes. Once we are done kneading, place the dough back into the bowl and add our 2 tablespoons of butter and knead well until the butter is completely absorbed into the dough. Once your butter is completely absorbed, Tuck in the ends of the dough and form it into a ball. Smoothen the top and apply a little oil or butter onto your bowl and on top of your dough and place it to rest for at least an hour. My dough has been sitting there for an hour and you can see that it has risen really well. Now we can take the dough out and start kneading again. To knead the dough, I am placing the dough ball onto the surface and sprinkling a little bit of flour and kneading again with the same motion by pressing the palm of my hands against the dough and surface and bringing it back together with my fingers. You have to repeat this for at least 5 minutes. Once we are done kneading, we can shape the dough back into a ball, smoothening the surface and tucking it in and we are ready to shape our power buns. Now for shaping the power buns, I am cutting the dough into 8 portions. So I am dividing it into half, then into quarters and then into 1 eighths. Now take each portion of the dough and shape it really well again by tucking it in and smoothening the top. Now I have my greased loaf tin ready. You can use any kind of cake tin or cake pan you have. I had this loaf tin. So grease it really well with some oil and I am placing in my shaped dough balls. I am placing the prepared dough balls slightly close to each other so that they bake into each other and give us that distinct pav shape. 
Now we have to cover this with a cloth and let it rest for an hour. And you can see that our pav buns have doubled in size and we are ready to bake. Now I am applying a little bit of milk, whole milk on top. This is to give it a little bit of browning on top. If you can take eggs, you can give it an egg wash as well. Now our pav buns go into a preheated oven for baking. Once our pav buns are hot out of the oven, I am applying a little bit of melted butter on top to give it a really good shine. And our pav buns are ready to enjoy. These are great when they are warm and straight out of the oven. You can see the texture of the bread. It is super soft and super pillowy. I really wish you guys could smell this right now. Freshly baked bread is something else. Hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button. And if you want to see more recipes from me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so that you guys will get notified every time I upload a new video. So see you guys next time with another new recipe. Until then, keep cooking. Keep smiling. Take care. Bye-bye.